hello friends uh, welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to show you the configuration of x connect between two sites so with the x connect what we do is we extend the layer to domain between one site to another site over the mpls cloud so i have a similar topology i have ce1 at the bottom if you see ce2 is here at the other side and in between i have mpls cloud where provider edge one router provider edge two router and provider one and provider two routers are sitting so basically what i need to do is bring up the mpls cloud and then configure x connect between pe1 and pe2 so that is what i'm going to do i have some basic configuration already in place so I'm going to use that. I'll show you what configuration I have, just the IP addresses, addresses and all. I would also like to show you the software or routers that I'm using. So in place of PE1 and PE2, I'm using CSR 1000V routers, which is nothing but IOS XC router. Apart from that, all the other devices are IOS V routers. So let me just quickly show you the versions. You can see that this is IOS XE software with 16.9.1 image and this is CSR 1000B. Apart from this, in the core provider router is IOS V router and basically this is uh, Cisco IOS V appliance that, that, is, uh, that I have hosted in GNS3 box. Let's get started. Uh, first of all, let me show you the IP address configurations. So here I have two uh, interfaces which has the IP addresses assigned. Gig1 which is going towards the core and loopback interface which is the which is configured to bring up the MPLS and OSPF addresses etc. Apart from that here also I have the similar setup. I have three interfaces, one is loopback and two are the uh, interfaces, one is going to PE1, another is going to PE2, uh, provider two router. Here also the similar setup is there, uh, two interfaces with IP addresses assigned to it and one loopback. On PE2 router as well, similar to PE1 router, I have one gig interface which is going towards the core and one loopback interface on ce routers i don't have any other configuration apart from the uh, ip address on gig 00 interfaces so both of these if you notice show ip interface brief so if you notice gig 00 on ce2 and gig 00 on ce1 both of them are having same network IP address. If I try to ping 192.168.10.2 from here, it won't ping because right now the XConnect circuit is not up. And once it comes up, it becomes a single broadcast domain and we should be able to ping across. So let me just go to PE1 and start the configuration. What I'm going to do is configure OSPF first. So in order to bring up uh, XConnect, I need OSPF, I need MPLS, and then on top of that, I need to have some XConnect configuration as well. So first of all, let me bring up OSPF here, OSP router, OSPF1, network, 10.10.10.1, 0, 0, 0, 0, area 0, and For the loop back, all right, and right. Similarly, for this router also, on T router SPF one network ten dot ten dot ten dot two zero 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 area zero network nine network. 1.1.1.1 all right i have it set up and and right similarly on p2 router also on p router spf1 network 10 10 10 10 
10, 0, 0, 0, 0, area 0, 13, network 2.2.2.2 and write and on CE2 router as well, router is TF1 network. <coughs> I think it was 14, 10, 10, 10, 14, 0, 0, 0, 0, area 0, network 44, 44, 44, 44, area 0, and then write. So now I should see all my OSPF configuration or OSPF adjustments coming up. Show IP OSPF neighbor, I have two here. Show IP OSPF neighbor, it's coming up. It's coming up. Show IP OSPF neighbor, it is in two way, it should also come up in a while. All right, it has come up. Now let's go ahead and configure MPLS route. Uh, so I'm going to use the MPLS LDP auto discovery uh, auto config command here. Uh, alternatively, what you can do is you can go under the interfaces and configure MPLS IP. This command is very handy. It helps you to bring up um, MPLS on all the interfaces wherever the IGP is configured. So here. Uh, my uh, intention is very clear. I want to enable MPLS on all the IGP interfaces. So I'll just go under router OSPF, MPLS LDP auto config, exit, MPLS LDP uh, router ID is loopback1. This is what I'm going to paste on all the devices that I have. V config control V here it is not needed and also let me do router OSPF if I can type uh, PLS LDP auto config router OSPF one and PLS LDP auto config router OSTF1 and PLS LDP auto config here as well. Now my LDP should also come up. You can see it is coming up one by one. So as we are waiting for LDP to come up, I'll also go ahead and configure XConnect. So for XConnect, I need to do, first of all, let me show you the configuration of GIG2 on PE1. I do not have anything configured yet. I'm going to enable XConnect and let's see. So it is asking for the IP address. IP address is going to be the peer's IP address. The IP address which you mentioned here should be reachable via MPLS from this box. So the peer's IP address in my case is 44 and the VCID uh, you need to mention. You can choose any number between, between these two numbers given there and encapsulation I'm going to use MPLS enter I'm also going to uh, prepare some of the videos on pseudo white class and uh, um, you know for the different encapsulations for example here we have uh, uh, if you go back You can see that apart from MPLS, we also have L2TP v3 configurations and encapsulations. So I'm going to uh, make videos on those as well. Please stay tuned with this channel. So for now, I'll end here and I'll go to PE2, which is this router, and here also I'll bring up the XConnect circuit. Kick to XConnect. IP address is 11.11.11.11. 11, 11, 11, 11 pseudo wire we have defined as 10 and encapsulation is MPLS.
I'm going to end and write. Now our MPLS X connect should be coming up. I think it has come up. Let me just quickly verify it. All right, the X connect has come up here. You can see this nice and clean output. Show MPLS L2 transport PC. 10 detail this output gives you more data detail about uh, uh, x connect for example um, definitely it tells you uh, vcid and the state <clears throat> apart from that it also tells you about the number of packet transmitted received in case you have any errors anywhere and bringing up of, of uh, x connect then you should be able to see some basic errors like if the MPU mismatches there then in this section you would be seeing that one more uh, line would appear saying that you know last error is MPU mismatch apart from that you can also see that imposed label stack is also given here so this label stack has one label for uh, virtual circuit and one label for transport so MPLS forwarding table if you see it has labels given for uh, to reach to different uh, uh, you know different destinations different tunnel endpoints but uh, this one is the one with which we have uh, established l2 uh, uh, circuit so let me just quickly go to our c devices now and try to see if it is pinging earlier it was not pinging excellent now it is pinging uh, just quickly let me see that all right let me just open it again and repeat 10,000 times so that I can show you that data is flowing through this circuit you can see that it is increasing here it is increasing apart from that if you want to take packet capture you just go ahead right click on the link and start packet capture you should be able to see some packets as well Yeah, this, this is the capture which is running. You can see that how nicely it shows you the pseudo wire and PLS encapsulations. And this is our original packet, ICMP packet. It had its own uh, uh, source and destination IP header and Ethernet uh, layer 2 header as well. So this is all about this topology. This was very simple to uh, deploy, but it is very famous. Many people use it. So let me know if you have any questions in comment section. I would love to hear. And apart from that, if you have any suggestions, uh, that also you can post it in uh, comment sections. Please like, share and subscribe the video. Thank you.